हेलो गाइस हेलो इट्स सीराम अजीत एंड रोहित टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न रिलेशन एंड फंक्शंस लेट्स लर्न समथिंग अबाउट मैट्रिक्स एंड ग्राफ रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ रिलेशंस लेट्स स्टार्ट फर्स्टली वी शुड लर्न हाउ टू राइट रिलेशंस लेट्स कंसीडर एक्स एंड वाई वेयर आर बी द रिलेशन फ्रॉम एक्स टू वाई सो If for any i j relation r exists, then we are going to write one in i throw and j th column. Similarly, if relation does not exist, then we are going to write zero in i throw and j th column. Here we have write one where relation exists, and we have write zero where relation does not exist. Let's test our brain. Consider x equals two one two three four. y equals to one two three four and relation R where x is greater than y, then our relation R will be the set of elements where x is greater than y. So for the matrix representation, first remember our rule. So we will make matrix of those element those exist in our relation. So the required matrix will be. Let's talk about properties of relations. First, reflexive. Relation is reflexive if and only if it contains all diagonal elements as one. Here we have an example set R. It is reflexive because it contains all elements such as one one two two three three, and hence the in matrix representation it will contain all diagonal elements as one. Another property irreflexive. Relation is irreflexive if and only if it contains all diagonal element as zero. Here set R is irreflexive. Because it do not contain elements such as one one two two three three, in matrix representation it will contain diagonal elements as zero. Now our next property is transitive. Consider our relation contain elements such as one comma two and two comma three. The relation will show transitive property of relation if and only if it also contain elements one comma three. Now let's move to the graph representation. Let's consider the example. X equal to one two three four and y equal to one two three four and relation R where x greater than y. Again, our relation R will be given as. So graph re representation will be. Now properties of relation. First, symmetric. Relation is symmetric if there is a return arc exists from second node to the first node. Let's take an example. Here, arc goes from first node to the second node. And again, return to the first node. Next property is anti-symmetric. It is opposite to the symmetric property. Relation is anti-symmetric if and only if there is no such direct return path exists. In example, arc exists from x to y, but not from y to x. It shows anti-symmetric property. Next property is reflexive. Relation is reflexive if we have arc starts at node x and ends at node x. This type of arcs are known as loop. If loop exists in the relation, then the relation is reflexive. Next property, transitive. For transitive property, if relation exists from A to B and B to C, then to show transitive property, relation should exist also from A to C. <laughs> Created using Powtoon.